Welcome back to the Dave and Joe Liberty Stand. Thank you for joining us again. We're just continuing our discussions about uh, the top 12 issues the church want to hear about. And this this is posted on our Facebook page, uh, a link, and it was a Glenn Beck uh, discussion show he had. So this topic number two is about was the – so these are what people – surveyed who are churchgoers 3,000 people surveyed and these are the top 12 things they wanted to to hear one, in church one, two, this is number two yeah and it's you read it you want to read it you want me to um, go ahead you're better because you got your eyes are bad yeah. no i have context too so it's about it's uh number two was the, to listen they wanted to hear about was religious persecution slash liberty and so we're going to hit on the 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 things that that entails so the first one is personal duty in regards to religious persecution and liberty. Okay, that brings us back to the Nazarene fund uh, that Glenn Beck's doing. Um, yeah. That we talked about on a previous show. Um, they are slaughtering. In, in Syria and uh, Iraq, they are slaughtering. When you say they, are you talking about the ISIS? ISIS. The ISIS. terrorists, pretty much. Okay. Um, and uh, anyway, if you, um, they, they, it's terrible. They're they're just killing Christians um, and Muslims that aren't Muslim enough, and anybody else in between. Yeah. Um, um, Wait, I mean, we have no idea. I can't imagine. Well, they go. You know, they go to your, that experience. They go, okay, they that. go to the. Okay, remember like uh, in World War Two when you we've all seen the movies. You know, they wear the little stars. Make them more oh stars. yeah, the uh, Jewish Davis, David. for the Jewish people. And um, well, identify. at the house, you, it's it looks like a U with a dot. On oh top of it. yeah, I, I and that's that. the uh, the sign of the Nazarene, and that means you're a Christian, and you've got like 24 hours. Uh, and we're gonna come back to get out, and we're gonna. But the thing of it is, they've already taken all their money. They can't do anything. Right, they, they can't, can't go, go anywhere. Go anywhere. Yeah. You're going to convert. You're um, going to pay a tax that you cannot pay for. Or we're going to kill you. And we're and what they do is they kill the men. They uh, they take the wives and the kids and they sell them as sex slaves, or they take them on themselves as you know. They're, right. right. Yeah, um, and Glenn's trying to uh, get those people out of there. And uh, uh, brought to another place, uh, you know, somewhere in Europe or, or even another Eastern, you know. So uh, what you're, what Dave's getting at is the fact that there's a, there's something we, you can do, we can do, we can do. is in supporting, helping to fund, to get people out of that. So the donations. I, and I have just so you know. And that's, just, and that um, they can go through what Glenn Beck. Um, where did I go for com. that? I can't remember. Gosh, I go on so many well, Beck uh, sites. We can even uh, post um, that too. I'll make yeah, a note. We'll post post, um, post the Nazarene. So, but that that's that's getting to personal duty. What can we do as individuals to fight the religious persecution and liberty? So that's. So that's one thing. What's that's something a personal else? Personal duty. Yeah. What's uh, something else we can do in the United States for like for the United States? I mean, like, as a in country? the United States. Yeah. Person, I would say is share, share with other people the the concern. Yeah. Like right. persecution of the 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 church or like Kim Davis, for instance, the lady who was in Kentucky and she had. Um, uh, she did not want to sign these these uh, marriage licenses, and you know, based on her religious conviction, or I, her convictions. You know what? I gotta be. I mean, full disclosure. I, I I don't know the legality of that. Um, I don't know. I, I definitely am on her side, but I I don't know what the rule is with that as far right. as states law, uh, state law and stuff. Um, right. Because I do believe in states' laws and stuff. So, I'm, but I think that's a I don't know. I don't want to go into that. But, yeah, yeah, I don't uh, either. Uh, uh, but I guess uh, knowing that, well, what are you going to do? I mean, are we living out our the truth? Are we living out our our life with Christ? If you are a believer, you know, or I guess what other religious 
religions as well. I mean, because it says religious persecution. Right, so right. other religions are being persecuted as well. I mean, Absolutely. Christian is Well, basically, the if you don't think the highlight. caliphate should happen. The and, caliphate. And, can you define that? The caliphate us? is the uh, taking over as, uh, for Islamist. Islamist. Oh, taking over law and... You, you agree, you conform or die. Uh, we will cut your head off, we will burn you up, we will drown you, whatever. And we'll take your women and children and make them sex slaves. And, um, no. Um, where was I going with that? I can't Look, remember. Cal, if you, we don't want that to be... No, we do not. No, we don't. Yeah. Uh, um, no, we don't. And, uh, and you know, it's... I cannot believe the, the political correctness in this country that tries to make like that's... No, you don't get it. You don't understand. Have you seen the videos? Have you watched them? And you're referring to um, the Islam. Yes. The terrorists and stuff like yes, that. Yes, I am. Yeah, and, and I don't think we're sitting here saying that Islam, like everyone who is no, an, a Muslim... No, Islamist is different than Muslim. Islamists are terrorists. And they want the caliphate. Muslims are just... We've already done this on another show. Yeah. Um, well, they're just regular people that just... That's their religion. And they want to live their lives and let you live your life. And that's okay. Well, and... Um, I, well, we're getting into the religious persecution and liberty. I mean, what... What are we... I mean, we're if we're losing freedoms, we have to stand up for freedoms... For religious freedoms, but I mean, I think standing up for religious freedoms also st stands up for all freedoms. You know, every person should have the well, you know freedom there, to there, say. And, there, there's one thing uh, we're missing there on line two. Yeah, go um, ahead. Glo the global thing. Um, global conditions. Right. Um, well, that's kind of what we're talking about with the Nazarene Fund. The thing of it is, um, you know, all the country. I'm sorry to say with the leadership we have now or the lack thereof in this country and the same thing in Europe. All the bad guys can run rampant. But we don't have any. Um, there, there's a person in office right now that wants to tear this country and has torn this country down, make us no better than anybody else. Well, and I don't and, think it's just one person. Um, I think it's the government, the powers that be right but, now. No, they're all going along with it. Yeah, but, exactly. Uh, that's what I, I'm saying. Yeah, Boehner's. It's the good, it's those in uh, the in the government, the leadership, all of them. And that's why we're but we've getting got, whacked. But but that's why we're getting whacked. In the, we're, not, we're talking about that. Sorry, little mafia talk there. But uh, <laughs> but um, no, the guy that's in the leadership, the you know um, Obama, he, he wants to bring us down, and by God, he has done that. And look okay. at the world now without a strong, a strong America. Right, right. It's and, falling uh, apart. Um, but you know what? With all that being said, guess case, who's still in case. charge? God is still sovereign. Right. So, and I'll tell you what. Read the Bible. God's not with you. you got to be with him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not. He's uh, going to follow uh, the way you want to go. you got to follow the way he wants to go. And That's a you, choice. He allows you to choose. If it. you do the smart thing and you. You see what's going on. That's you one thing we don't... You, you prepare for yourself, and you prepare for the, your close ones, and yeah. um, you'll be all right. We just ordered um, some food, actually, just before we started this this episode and uh, our program today. Um, and uh, so that's that's in preparation for, you know, things. But, I mean, I, that's not where I'm putting my hope and my trust. He didn't mean we like we're a couple, just so yeah, my wife. Or, well, my wife. I'll surprise her later with this gift. But so okay. So we're we're cl closing out on this episode. Anything else we're gonna hit on with government duty in regards to religious persecution? Well, I think we just did that. Church response. Government's not gonna do squat because they're basically part of the problem. I mean, the enemy, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, there, there's too much government duty. That's what's wrong. Well, church response. Let's let's Absolutely hit on that real quick. Right. Church response, nine in point. All right. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> At time, we're, we we want to stay in decent time so you guys... I've been told we have to keep it down. 
Yeah, see, so, I mean, so just getting the basic message out there. So, last thing I want to touch on before we go, and this one is church response. Well, don't look at me, I don't go to church. What would you encourage the church to, to do? To talk about all these things. To talk about these things. Nobody goes, I mean, no, nobody talks about anything. The only one is to sing songs. and to, Okay. To, um, sing songs. And, well, we want to praise the Lord. We want to lift up and... In, uh, See, I think you go to a different church than a lot of people do. And, and, uh, I think maybe your church is a little better than a lot of people's. And, uh, from what you well, know, our we pastor, talking, we, we... When we were talking before before we started recording, um, I think his church is a little better than most, but most churches do not you, you know talk what? about the hard stuff. Well, and the, and the uh, thing uh, is that I... And the, it's very sad cause in regards to the churches, because one thing that I've experienced is there's lots of churches in this community in Lafayette, Indiana, and uh, but not all of them are sticking to and preaching the Word of God, and that is key. That and we mentioned it a little bit ago. The Bible, God's Word, is is it truth? I mean, I would I well, would you know, challenge it's, anyone it's not to even just talking to, about stuff like Glenn said. Kick the dust off your shoes and go do it. Right. Right. Well, this, I mean, yeah, yeah. If we, I want to encourage people, you know, come on, just let's see, what can we do? I mean, so one of the things with the church response, and we'll get to it later, so check out one of the episodes, but at the end of the 12 uh, items here that people want to hear about is an action plan. So we post that on our Facebook page, so we'll see you soon, all right? We're signing maybe, out now. We will, and you know what? Maybe we'll do an action thing before the weather gets too crappy. Yeah. We need to. We'll do something. We need we'll, to do something. We'll, we'll meet our. We can't just sit here and. We'll say, meet our tens of fans. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so well, we'll be back. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. <laughs>